All right, so after you do that, and after you have everything installed, you don't even need a screen or a keyboard on the computer anymore if you don't want to. You could stay there and do all these next steps on that computer, but since we installed SSH, we can just go to any Windows or Mac computer and log in from these computers and do whatever we need to do just as if we were sitting on it ourselves. So what we're going to use here is Putty, which is a free application you can find online for Mac and, P and PC, but for Mac you can just use Terminal to connect, but we'll use this on Windows. So all you do is open it up. And you got to remember either the IP address, which it showed you when we logged in, so mine was 192.168.1.3, or if you remember the name you gave it, the computer, like the C on the network, which mine was Ubuntu server. If you remember that, you can just type that in for host name. So I'll just do that. And just make sure it's on SSH, secure shell. And that's all you got to do is press open. And it'll ask you if you want to store the registry or whatever. Just say yes. And now you log in as just like you're on the computer and your password and look at that you are on see and it says the IP address right there okay so this is the first thing we're gonna do um, I'm still on the normal on my PC but I just changed this capture mode so you can only see this the first thing we want to do is update the system just like you would in a new Windows install so to do that, just type sudo apt get update and type in your password. So what that did was it updated, you know, to see what updates it can do. And now you're going to install them. So press the up arrow to get the last command. And then just change update to upgrade enter and then it's going to ask you do you want to continue yes okay well sorry about it cut out the bottom of the window for some reason but all I hit that's what I typed and I just press enter, pressed enter and then it just asked me if I want to install and just type Y or N so you just type Y enter and then it just goes and installs stuff for a while so after that, after you're all updated, I could do it again just to, just to make sure. So I will just press up arrow and then press it again to get to the first one. Press enter. Oh, nope, I'm done. Alright. So now we're going to make sure SAMP is installed, which it should be. So we're going to type sudo apt get install Samba. Yep, so zero upgraded, zero newly installed, so it was already there. <coughs> so now we're gonna set up Samba. So we want a CD to root, which is just slash, and then CD. to etc slash samba slash that's just it so there so now you can ls to see what's in there so you have four things and we wanna we want to edit the smb.conf file so we're going to do sudo nano and then type in the file name smb.conf. Right, so this is the file. So the first thing we're going to do in here is change the work group if you want to. So you're just going to go down with the down arrow key and go to work group right here. 
And if your work group is something else, usually the default one is just work group. Um, you can change that, but I'm just going to leave it. And then you're going to go to the very bottom of the file after you change that, or not change it. Go to the very bottom of the file. So just hold down the down button. And we're going to make a little new section. So this is where the folder of your files is going to be called. So I'm just going to name it server files. And you need square brackets around it. And then return tab and type comment. This is just the short description, so you can just say whatever you want. Space equals space. And I'll just say Ubuntu file server. And then enter tab path. So this is where it's going to be located. Sp space equals space. And you're going to go from, from the root to, we're just going to put it right in root, server files. server files and then yeah just that and then browsable um, this enables Windows clients to browse the shared directory using Windows Explorer which we want so we want to say browsable equals yes and then guest okay Guest, OK. Um, this would allow clients to connect to the share without supplying a password. We don't want that, unless you do. But I'm going to say no. So you need to have a password to get into this. And then read only. And that's no. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to save anything to the server. And then create mask um, this determines the permissions the new files will have well yeah when they're created so just type 7 or 0755 and that's it once you do that you want to type you want to hold down control control X Control X and then it asks if you want to save it. So you say Y for yes, and then it says file name, and just press enter, and you saved it. <coughs> I'm going to clear everything off the screen. We need to remember where we put our path, and then so that we go, we have to make that path. So we want to go CD to root, and then sudo make directory slash p which means that if it has more than one thing it'll you know it'll make the whole path to it and then we're just going to type exactly as we had it server files press enter and now if you list everything it should be there which is right there what we just made. And now we have to change the ownership of it. So sudo change owner to nobody dot no group space and then your path again. So slash um, server files. and then enter. And then finally the last thing you gotta do I think the last thing yeah, is restart those things. So sudo restart smbd and then sudo restart nmbd 
And then what I like to do, just just to be safe, is just restart the whole system. So just sudo reboot. And then it'll quit out. Then the last thing you want to do, which I actually forgot to do before I rebooted, but it doesn't matter, you need to change the the um, permissions for your folder that you made. <coughs> so I'm going to change to do that, you just got to do sudo change mod and do 777 and then your path to your folder again so that you put to server or no, no, I oh, was on server files server files and then you should be done so now you can just log out by typing log out or you can just exit out of the window or type exit or control D. You got a lot of options there. So I'll just type log out. And then the folder and the window will go away. Alright, so now we're just gonna open up File Explorer or Windows Explorer, whatever it's called. Go down to network, see if it's showing up there. Which of course it's not. And so if it's not, then you have to go you have to find it manually, so do backslash backslash and type in the IP address or the name we used same one we used to log into PuTTY um, so I'll just type in the name, Ubuntu server which I already did so it's there and enter so then you just double click on that and it'll ask you for username and password same thing to get it's the same thing here that you use to log into the server and I'm just going to say remember and press OK. And now you're in it. So you can add a text file to it. We'll just name it test. And then we'll go inside of it. And we'll say, hi, this is a test file. And save that. Exit. So now that's in there. <coughs> so we're going to exit out of that. And now we're just going to go back into PuTTY to see if it's there. So log in again. And so we're going to go to CD to the root and then CD server files and see what's in there. And that test.txt. And now we can open up to see what's in it. And look, hi, this is a test. And that's it. Now I'm going to show you how to do it from Mac. And to connect to the server from a Macintosh system, um, to do the SSH, we'll just open up Terminal. And it's real easy. All you do is type SSH space and then your login name. This is a little different. You have to use your login name at the little at symbol like an email address and then the name of the server or the IP address. So you want to server. Enter, and then it's asking if you want to store the key just like it did in PuTTY, so we just say yes. And now it's asking for my password, and we're logged in. And to prove that, we'll go over to my server files. And look, there's my test file. See? And now to connect, you know, without not SSH, just to the server, we're going to go to go up top, connect to server, or you can just type command K, and you're going to type smb colon slash slash the IP address or the server name. Connect. And you sign in with that name for your server name, so whatever you made that. 
And there's the file, so it's OK. And there we go. And that's it.